This is a um, Max Force GT. This is the one I'm going to end frame. So I posted a video a while back. Well, this is just, I uh, didn't have a chance to continue with it, but now I do. So let me go ahead and start get, getting it done. We're going to go ahead and prep the block so we can go, go ahead and insert those sleeves. I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, emery cloth to clean out these grooves and the bottom ring where the seal meets. Get them all prepped so that I can go ahead and install those uh, piston sleeves. Crank. So let me go ahead and take care of this. Like I said, emery cloth around the lip where the uh, sleeves sit and emery on the ring where the actual seal meets the block. So let me go ahead and get those done, guys. Well guys, uh, this is the actual cylinder sleeve and this is the seal that goes on this cylinder. I mean, pretty simple. I mean, I don't use any kind of lubricants or nothing like that. Uh, so guys, it's very hard to get this one-handed. I don't know if I recorded this right, but I you do is you slip that little O-ring seal and the, the cylinder wall has a little groove where it sits. So that's all you do on these. And then let me go ahead and take it over to the block and get it installed. Here, take your sleeve, fit it on there, and right now it's got a little step. So there is a tool to install these. They don't have it here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to improvise. I'm going to use uh, piston wrist pins and the head bolts to bring that sleeve down to where it's supposed to be at. And then it's got to come down maybe a quarter inch. Let me go ahead and do that, guys. Guys, uh, this is what we're going to be using. We're going to be using an old wrist pin for a piston and a lug nut for one of the wheels and these two head bolts to push that sleeve into place. So let me go ahead and get this done. six sleeves. Well, here guys, uh, we're going to remove piston up the connecting rod. 
Well, those are junk. We don't need those. We got a new wrist pin. Rings. And a new piston head. So here. Arrow points forward. Cap goes towards cam side. Piston pin. Insert my snap ring. Pull it around. And the other snap ring. There you go, guys. Get your rings. Oil ring goes first. Second part of the oil ring. Make sure it goes around. There's that. Then you got your top compression and the second. This thing goes in first. And then your first top compression. Slip it on one side and just follow it through. And there you go guys. Rings are on. I'm going to do the same to all the other pistons. Get them ready for installation. Well guys, there we go. Uh, got all six pistons uh, on their connect, uh, corresponding connecting rods. They're in the locations where they're supposed to be. So after lunch, we're gonna go ahead and start compressing those rings and pushing those pistons into the block and torquing down those uh, rod bolts. So I'm gonna go out for lunch real quick. When we come back, we'll go ahead and take care of those. Couldn't continue with uh, uh, putting that engine together. I uh, had to go out, and make a little run. I had to pick up a group and take it. I mean, I'm uh, acting as a bus driver now, I guess. 
so I'm going to have to call it quits on that engine for today. Uh, I'll go ahead and continue tomorrow and uh, see how far I can get on it tomorrow, guys. So, well, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, like and subscribe.